Hello, this is a video that introduces our paper in the web conference 2021. The title of our paper is Learning Heterogeneous Temporal Patterns of User Preference for a Timely Recommendation. I will start from the background and motivation of our work. It is well known that the time information implies various time-related patterns of user behaviors which are useful for the time-aware recommender systems. However, existing time-aware recommender systems consider and treat the time information as a single type of feature. Therefore, we argue that they are insufficient for fully learning the heterogeneous temporal patterns of user preference. Therefore, we first define the unique characteristics of temporal patterns of user preference that should be carefully considered in time-aware recommended systems. Then we propose a novel time-aware recommended system for timely recommendations called timely rec that considers all the defined characteristics. Also, we introduce an evaluation scenario for the performance on providing what and when to recommend simultaneously where our model outperformed other state-of-the-art baselines by a substantial margin. The first part of our work is arranging the temporal patterns of user preference in recommended systems and also their characteristics. There are two kinds of patterns in user preference, periodic pattern and evolving pattern. Periodic pattern means that a user's preference for a particular item may increase periodically because people have their own various life cycles. Evolving pattern means that a user's preference may evolve over time under the influence of re recent events. The right picture is an instance of four users' purchase sequences. I will explain each example using this picture. In detail, firstly, periodic pattern has multiple granularity of period, that is, hour, day of the week, date, and month. For example, we may recommend a winner coat to user A in November because the user has been buying a winter coat around every November. Also, we can recommend a book to user B on Friday, taking into account that the user buys the book around Friday. Like this example, an interaction can be triggered by a kind of granularity of period depending on the characteristics of the user or item. Second, the periodic pattern can be slightly irregular. User A sometimes buys a winter coat in October, and user B may buy a book on Thursday. These behaviors are slightly different from the periodic cycle but not significantly deviated. Because a time slot has similar characteristics to its adjacent slot, users' behaviors in similar time periods may be similar. Therefore, time-aware recommended systems should be designed to be able to consider this similarity to recommend the item even at similar times. Third, each user's periodic pattern is personalized. For example, user B buys a book on Friday, while user C buys groceries on Friday. Therefore, the model should distinguish the difference of its role between users. Next, there are two kinds of evolving patterns that affect the user's next actions. The first one is the user's recent interactions, which implies the user's current interest. For example, recommender systems may recommend a tennis ball to user C because she bought some related stuff recently. Lastly, the temporal trends of items can affect the user's preference. For example, although user D does not have any behavior related to a smartphone, the user may buy one because of some related events such as sales promotion or advertisement. The events make the temporal trend of the item and we can notice the trend via its popularity at that time. 
These are the several kinds of temporal patterns of user preference and their characteristics. And we argue that time-aware recommender system should be designed to consider this carefully. In this regard, we propose a novel time-aware recommender system called Timely Rec, which considers each of the temporal patterns we arrange it. Timely Rec takes a user, an item, and a target timestamp and predicts the probability that the user will like the item at the timestamp. Timely Rec consists of two encoders, multiple multi-aspect time encoder and time-aware history encoder, and additionally uses temporal position encoding. I will explain each of these in detail. Firstly, MATE builds a personalized periodic information for all the granularities, capturing the irregularity. To take into account the personalization, the embedding for each time slot is personalized using the user embedding. In this equation, EU months T is the personalized month, in month information of the target time T for user U. Then, our newly proposed attention mechanism, named gradual attention, considers the irregularity of periodic information. Gradual attention takes the personalized information of each granularity and also the information from some adjacent time slots. It naturally includes more of the information of the closer and more similar slot so that the adjacent slots learn related information together and are trained to be similar. As the embeddings of adjacent time slots are trained to be similar, the recommender system can recommend the item even at the similar times. Then MATE combines each of the representations for the four kinds of granularities into one final representation using a multiplicative attention. The final representation implies or periodic information of the target time. Next, time-aware history encoder combines the user's recent interactions into a latent representation. Our another proposed attention mechanism called time-based attention incorporates the user's recent interactions based on its similarity with the time with the target time in terms of the output of MATE. That is, among the user's recent interactions, the interactions made at a time more similar to the target time are more importantly included. Finally, timely rec accounts for the temporal position of each interaction using the temporal position encoding to model the temporal trends of items. To indicate the temporal position of an interaction, we adopt the sinusoidal positional encoding, which is used in the field of natural language processing. With the temporal position encoding, the item embeddings can contain the temporal position information. We evaluate our model in two evaluation scenarios. The first one is item recommendation, which evaluates the model's performance on predicting the item at the target time. The second scenario is item timing recommendation, which evaluates the model's performance on predicting the item and the timing at the same time. Because this scenario requires a higher degree of understanding of the model over the time information, we argue that this scenario is more suitable for evaluating the performance of time-aware recommended systems. On item recommendation, our timely rec outperformed all the other baselines on all the data sets. Also, the baselines that use the time information show better performance in most cases than the methods that do not use the time information. This result tells that it is important in recommending an item at the target time to consider the time target time. Next, 
On the item timing recommendation, our timely rec also outperformed all other time aware baselines. The improvement compared to the second best baseline is much larger than on the item recommendation, as the item timing recommendation requires a higher understanding of the time information. That is, our timely rec can better understand that relationships between user, item, and time, and provide more accurate recommendations. Finally, I will introduce one of our qualitative analyses. The right heat maps show the similarities between any two embeddings of each periodic time slot in a music data set. We can see, especially in our embeddings, that the adjacent time slots are learned to be similar via the gradual attention. Also, we can interpret some patterns of user behaviors in the data set. Firstly, the red part in between 2 p.m. and 9 p.m. are thicker than the other time slots. That means the user's behavior patterns in day and evening are very similar. On the contrary, when there is four or 12 hour in interval between two time slots, the user's behavior patterns are the most different. In day of the week embedding, there are differences between the patterns on weekends on, and on weekdays. Finally, we can see that the behavior patterns for from April to October and for from November and March are different. This is probably because the songs people listen to in summer and in winter are different. This is the end of my presentation and thank you for listening.